Hello everyone, welcome to my Back to the Future the game playthrough. My name is Owen and I was inspired by uh, some of my friends to start uh, recording my gameplay. So I'm just going to pick uh, this nice uh, kind of click and point sort of uh, adventure game, Back to the Future. And it um, should be a bit of fun, it probably won't be very good, but that's the whole point. If you don't want, if you want to walk through then please be free to go to another video. This is just me kind of having the fun. And uh, yeah, so let me just have a look at the uh, control. Oops, uh, that was a bit of a mistake there. Let's just have a look at all these um, options. So yeah, um, I want this to be rather difficult, so yeah, no hints really. Um, not so bad. Yes, I understand. Yeah, full screen, good quality effects. I don't know where the controls are, but yeah, anyway, let's just get cracking with the game. Good old DeLorean, probably the most iconic bit of the game, or the movies, like I absolutely love the DeLorean, it's probably the most fascinating. Uh, kind of the story of the DeLorean is probably one of the most fascinating in the history of the motor industry, so uh, that's why it's so classic and I have to appreciate Back to the Future for making it such a zero to hero kind of care. Anyway, before we begin, would you like to see notifications when Marty has a new goal? Yeah, show goals, may as well. All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1.18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Yeah. Come on, I need... Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me! The car! The car! If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Yay. On the serious shit. Watch this! Watch this! Uh-oh. <laughs> what did I tell you? 88 miles per hour! The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Right, so I have to pick one of these options. You disintegrated Einstein, you disintegrated Einstein. where's the car, or what the heck? I'll just ask, what, where's the car? Doc, what would happen to the car? Calm down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Okay, I'm guessing you're meant to recreate the famous 88 miles per hour time travel uh, first time scene. So, I presume it's you built a time machine out of a DeLorean, but I don't know. 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! Uh oh. Uh, Doc? Oh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, wh what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Okay, so now the gameplay begins. So that's very interesting. An alternate, um, an alternate ending to this scene, where fortunately Einstein has been lost in time. So we better go get him back. So uh, yeah, click and hold the left mouse button. Notebook, notebook. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's mass equals I times Z, and E equals the square root of Z times C squared, and the flux dispersal rate is inversely proportional to the fourth root of N, carry the nine, then... This isn't the way it happened, yeah, I know that. Anyway, uh, that's just Let's see. That it's sounds familiar. Mass equals I times... Consequences could be... catastrophic? Whoa. Deja vu. Is everything okay? Yeah, Mom. I it was it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and, and Doc was there. Spoiler, well, you're safe spoiler, and sound spoiler, now. spoiler. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Uh, my Your father's voice. waiting uh, for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap! I'm late. Episode one, it's about time. Yes, indeed. Nice graphics.
Let's go up, get up. Nice one. Dad! Are we too late to stop the... sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's dock stuff. The city has no right to... Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and... Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Oh. Hey, Marty! <laughs> Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... Remembering. Okay, so that'll conclude for uh, part one. Part two will come uh, very soon indeed. But, uh, just, you know, I want to see how this runs on YouTube and all, so goodbye for now.